Today we're gonna try a super easy poached egg hack that I saw on TikTok. First thing you're gonna do is pour some hot water into a bowl. And then you're gonna add a little bit of vinegar. And now we crack the egg into it. What's up, Hooked on Keto? And then we pop it in the microwave for 40 seconds. All right, here we go. Which if you saw my microwave the other night, I cleaned it so it looks a little nicer now. All right, 40 seconds, here we go. What's up, Lady D? Is that keto approved bread? It is, it's Sola bread, um, two net carbs per slice. Never kicked me out of ketosis. What wattage do you have? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm just using the microwave on regular. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, maybe some people do it at like 10%, I don't know. All right, and it should literally be this easy. We have like nine seconds. What's up, Kathy? Just made your recipe for stuffed peppers, so yummy. Ooh, nice, Allison. All right. Okay, it's been 44 seconds. Hopefully that wasn't too long. Okay, time to take it out. And do I dry it or do I just put it directly on the toast? The video I watched, he literally just like went like boom. Okay. All right. Oh, it should say the wattage when I open the microwave door. All right, and then what, we just slide it onto the toast? Is this okay? Is this what you would do? Would you just slide it like this onto the toast? Can anybody confirm? And if you're wondering where I got the low carb bread, it's from Home Depot. If you guys saw my story the other day, you would know that's where I get all of my low carb bread. All right, you guys are saying yes, let's go. Here we go. Okay, boom. Oh no, it slid off, it slid off, what the heck? Okay, we can put it back on. That's so stupid, why did it do that? All right. Okay, it like, it's not, it, it's, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. I feel like I should get a paper towel, like what is this? How did you release it from the, I'm sorry, the How did I release it from what? Oh, I just used like a nonstick. Oh, it's not even done because that is like the white, but it's not cooked. All right, we're gonna try it again and we're gonna do a minute instead of 40 seconds. But for the sake of a picture, I'm gonna just crack the yolk. And maybe it'll look nice in the picture because it's not overdone. Ooh, put some uh, like red pepper flakes. Ooh, red pepper flakes. All right, guys, we're trying another one. So just red pepper or everything bagel? I guess it's, that's way too much, but whatever. All right, take two. So do I need to restart this whole process? I don't know why I put vinegar in the water. Apparently that's what you're supposed to do. That's what it said to do on TikTok. So what I'm gonna do now is take this Pyrex and microwave more water. And we're gonna make more bread, I guess. Um, so. This is the bread I get from Home Depot. Two net carbs per slice. 
Just put it in the microwave as is. Oh, good idea. Yeah, I guess we could do that. All right, I defrost it for like 15 seconds. Oh, I forgot, there's water that's supposed to be heating up. All right. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some cheddar on top of that and then, um, and that will be like our toast. And then I'll take that plate and make the bacon, which here's the bacon we're using. If you saw my Costco video, um, hold on. These like LaCroix boxes are getting on my nerves in the background. All right, so. which I just put a plate with a paper towel, like, like a thin piece of a tree, and fold it over, and then just put the bacon in the middle. We will literally make our bacon like this every single morning. I'm not joking about Home Depot. Um, a lot of people think that it's a joke, but I just think that's kind of messed up to, like Home Depot worked so hard to start carrying this low carb bread, right? The the founder of Home Depot, like the owner or whatever, is so passionate about low carb. It, it changed his life. Um, and he, part of like his contribution, like after like paying back the keto community, was he like made this vow to always carry low carb bread at Home Depot. So if you go to Home Depot, and you don't see it in any of the aisles, just ask to speak to a manager and they will have some low carb bread. All right, and I have a question. If we're going to, um, if we're going to take the boiling water, right, from the Pyrex and pour it into another cup, could we just get boiling water in a Pyrex and just crack the egg with the vinegar into that or would it not work? All right, so the bacon is on here and we're gonna microwave one minute. Maybe less, just so it doesn't have to be burnt. And it's also time to sprinkle the cheddar on our toast. All right, here we go. And I got these little uh, parchment things on Amazon. So you guys are saying it will work if I just do the, the vinegar and the Pyrex. You know what would be good if we put Valentina on it? Somehow I messed that up too, and we did a minute. It looks super burnt, but whatever. All right, now we're gonna microwave the um, the water. And we're gonna pray that this works out. I I can't believe, this would have been so perfect had I just done the full minute. Is the Chipotle Keto Chicken Bowl okay? I had it the other day, it was so yeah, good. It's good, what's wrong with it? The, the white, you can see the white is like uncooked, if oh, you look. The clear, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Don't you have to steam it? Don't you have to put something over it so it can cook? Apparently this way works. I don't know what I did wrong. The vinegar is what makes the white of the egg set when poaching. Oh, maybe I just didn't add enough vinegar. What's a good carb count for bread? Uh, two net, three net maybe at the most. When you start getting into breads that have like five or six net carbs per slice, you just have to think, like if you're trying to eat 25 net carbs a day, 
how is like a 12 carb sandwich plus the three carbs from your other ingredients, so like a 15 or 16 carb sandwich going to fit into your 25 net carbs for that day? You know what I mean? It's like, it could be worth it, it could not be worth it. You don't really know. All right, so we're going to put more bacon in the, we're almost out of bacon. This is like crazy. We're going through this bacon so fast. I have to make sure there's enough in here for Anna's wrap tomorrow morning. I make her, I make her these low carb wraps every morning before she goes to work. All right, so. This is not boiling yet, but I'm just gonna put them in the microwave together. All right, our toast is toast enough. Okay. Okay, here we go. Where's the plate? Oh, I don't have a plate. All right. And I'll just eat a piece of bacon while we wait. Oh my gosh, I left the microwave closed. I'll just eat the most burnt parts because I may still put some of this on the toast. What? She said something. Oh, I have to block somebody, okay. Um. Instead of, oh my God, I'm over microwaving the bacon again. No, this was perfect. I guess because the, the boiling water was in there too. It actually worked out great. All right, I don't want to make any mistakes this time. So we're going to microwave the water a little longer. Instead of us making the mistakes, thank you for taking the time to show us how we can improve the process. You're welcome, Cindy. That's why I do these. Cooking is hard. Like, there are so many little details that you can miss that just make it difficult. So, I'm glad that I can help. This bacon is not how I prefer it. It's a little too soft, but it, oh. but it will go great on the toast. All right, so I'm gonna put this back in the freezer. Um, shout out to Home Depot, go to Home Depot, get Home Depot bread, ask the manager for their low carb bread. If their manager can't find it, speak to their higher up, um, tell them you're extremely disappointed with their lack of knowledge about the Home Depot brand. Um, how did they become a manager if they don't know where the low carb bread is? I mean, just give them an earful because it's really important to get the message out there. Home Depot, low carb bread, is changing the world. All right. Oh, this is like at a roaring boil. It's crazy how the, the cup is so hot, but the handle is not hot at all. All right, so I need another egg, first and foremost. Yo, if you guys take the sticker off the bottom, I get it, if it's on the side, right? If you're taking the sticker off the bottom, like, what? All right. I did a little more vinegar this time. Let's like pray that this one works. All right, we cracked the egg into the microwave for one minute this time. Let's go. Wait, are you supposed to crack the egg more gently into the thing? No, you kind of throw it in there. Well, I'm not a gentle person in general. So. All right.
and I put it in at two minutes and 15 seconds. So let's see if I mess up and leave it in too long. What does the vinegar do? Apparently it keeps the egg or it cooks the egg somehow. It's like how people say that lime cooks ceviche. Like, what does that even mean? Oh my God, it's exploding. It's exploding in the microwave. I told you. This is crazy. All right, a full minute. It's like overflowing. How come you didn't do it in the, how come you didn't do it in the hot plate? But it looks better. It looks better, okay? It actually, I think the white is cooked this time. So let's just like do this all over and this time we will have gotten it right. I need another thin piece of a tree, a little tiny plate. And the toast would look so good if we had avocado to put on it, but, um, but hardly got into our bag of avocados. We had like seven of them. She ate them all. Um, she, she does that. Like we were cooking like nine steaks one night, Harley, like somehow she's a tiny cocker spaniel, jumped on the counter and ate all nine steaks. Um, she has an appetite for 20 humans. Okay. All right, here we go. And I'm, I'm leaving it in. I'd rather have an overcooked one than an undercooked one. But if the I have a ladle. What's the meshy thing? How are you draining all that water? Are you putting it in a? It's like one of the round forks with slits in it. See? Okay, okay, got it. All right. It looks like it has peaks. But don't you have to like blot it on a paper towel or something? That's what I was wondering. Everyone said no. No. All right. Okay, this one is much less slippery. I'm just fearful that the yolk is cooked. All right. Use your finger to slide it down. Okay, here we go. I, it has to have a little seasoning on it. Um, I would put uh, dry uh, oregano and salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. Okay, we put a little red pepper flakes. Let's try salt, pepper, and oregano. So you call it oregano, not oregano. What do you, how, do you, do you guys say oregano or oregano? All right. Oh my gosh, I forgot the bacon. I forgot the bacon. Hold on. Oh my gosh, that's, that's so terrible. All right. Come on, please Lord, don't let this break in my hand. Oh my God, okay, cool. Oh my goodness. All right. Somebody said that's not keto. Um, all right. But the person who said it, the donut I saw you eating the other day was definitely not keto either. So, all right. Now we just need to crack it. No, you forgot has, the bait. You forgot everything else. I forgot the oregano. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, do we pop it? Should I take a picture of this? Uh, give me a knife. All right, the moment of truth, y'all. All I'm gonna like snap a- Ready? All our knives are gross. I'm gonna snap a picture once you pop it. Okay, ready? So yeah, that's like a good angle. Mm, it's hard. No. Oh, you get a little bit. That's good. Got a little yolk, yolk action here. So the the key is do like maybe fifty seconds instead of forty five or like one minute. The other picture is probably better, huh? Or no? Do you like this one better? Ew. No, the second one. I'm gonna eat half of this. Wait, I'm gonna get a better picture. Uh -huh. All right, let's get a nicer picture. What do you guys think? Would you eat this or not? Nah? Would you prefer it to be more runny? I would prefer it to be more runny, but I like the, the consistency of the whites are good. 
We just have to like maybe like 10 or 20 seconds less in the microwave. Yeah, I think like 50 seconds would have been perfect. Let me try just one from this other angle and then we'll eat it. Everyone's saying it looks good. Okay. I would put, can you take more? Anna's like very excited to eat this. Okay. Valentina? Yeah. It's like we need a super close up. Okay, here. My head is on camera? Yeah. All right, ready? All right, whatever. Oh, I have to get a picture like that. That's so much nicer. Mm -mm, it's not because it covers everything. It's okay. All right. Perfect. Mm. What do you think? Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to make sure you're not on camera, so don't worry. Mm. So good. All right, let's eat. Okay. This is bussin'. I need to put Valentino on it. What is wrong with me? Mm. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, the other one didn't cook all the way. Mm. Oh my god. That was very Oh my god, this is amazing. I don't taste vinegar at all, do you? No. Mm. 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 All right. That was so good. That was really good. Guys, I'm gonna make more of these. Um, I love you. I believe in you. I'll see you tomorrow.